Calme, Dress the child in really trendy clothes and have a really good outlook on, outlook on life for the baby. It's going to be unreal. <laughs> Paul's already got a surfboard lined up for it and surfing clothes. And I'm thinking, God, it's not even born yet. And he's already got to go out and start buying board shorts and singlets. God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what have I got myself into? <laughs> Over the last couple of months, Mum had stressed to me that money was tight, so it seemed a bit strange that we were spending $45,000 on a new race car. But then, some hobbies are expensive. No, we have tens on our other car. That's yeah, what we've those those we get. We've been looking around for cars for a long time. We wanted to be able to buy the car, take it to the circuit and race it, you know, without having to spend too much time setting it up. I suppose it's a passion, really. You're not doing it because it's fun. You're doing it because you you want to do it, you know. But it's, it's certainly not fun. And you're out there with teams that are spending three million dollars a year. It's very exciting. Um, that's that's what got me. Once I started, it's, there's nothing to me like this. And I've done a lot of things. The thrill of motor racing is um, just something else. You've got to you've got to be there to to appreciate really what what goes on. certainly gets the adrenaline pumping. I've water skied, I've snow skied, I've played ice hockey, I've done everything. You name it, I've done it, but motor racing is the biggest buzz in my life. The car was a winning car 12 months ago. They want $45,000 for the car and that's it. We just want to be out there, compete, finish the race every time and be there at Bathurst and finish the race here. I mean, look, as I said on the phone, we nearly finished bloody ninth position in the 87 car bit of VL. 20 laps we, to go, we would have. 20 laps to go and, you know, we're in 14th outright at that stage. And uh, with the dropouts, we would have finished around ninth or 10th. Nolan is 100% behind me. I mean, uh, oftentimes we're going to go to a race meeting somewhere and she'll say, um, what about some tyres? And I'll say, oh no, the tyres on the car are okay. You know, I oh, know, buy a new set. And I'll say, but no, they'll, they'll probably be okay. No, she'll say, you go and buy a new set of tyres. I've seen a lot of families destroyed with car racing. Destroyed. Their families, their homes, their car, you know, everything that they stand for. I'd hate to see my home and, uh, you know, our lifestyle change because of it. such a tight recession at the present moment where everyone's battling to get jobs. So we'll see. We'll just have to see. I saw my mum and dad break up and that wasn't a very pretty sight and it's not the kind of thing I want to get involved in. I've got better things to do than argue and fight. Like I, I didn't rush into my marriage either, you know. Like I, I went out with the vet for seven or so years before we got married so it wasn't as though I didn't know a vet precisely like she knew exactly what I was like and I knew exactly what she was like so we weren't taking marriage lightly so maybe in that respect it might all work out you know people always say oh, I don't get married too young if it was 18 and I was um, quick maths I was 21 so we both got married pretty young and the vet was already pregnant when she got married with Christy six months pregnant so you know we sort of jumped in at the deep end but like I said we just knew each other so well why not and we're happy I was still away in Europe having a good time when my school report arrived. I was glad not to be there as some of my family members gathered round and decided how to put my education straight again. I am very disappointed with this report. Michael is capable of far better results. An improvement, at, uh, an improved attitude towards his studies is required. Well. And it cost us $9,000 to get that report. Yeah. 
Now things have got a little bit tougher. We haven't got the money that we had this time last year. Three fours have got to be turned into at least threes. But every single remark there says something about his attitude. Well, I reckon you should sit him down and talk to him about it. Say that. Has he seen it? No. Well, you're going to have to show him. Oh, well, we're not, going to, we're not going to do it until he's home, but we won't do but it. But you should do it first, Mum. No, I don't think I don't think Michael will have any any result from me telling him. He, if Laurie sat down nicely one night and says, Michael, listen, your mother's been looking at your report and doesn't know quite what she's going to do. If it's handled properly, he's just likely to go back to school next year and do damn good. And you know what his reports are beautiful usually. This is dreadful. Yeah, well he does he does have a tendency to answer back, but he's growing up, I did the same thing, but you can't take that to school, you know, if he can get away with it, you're you and Laurie. What is this his school yeah. mm -hmm. Very, very bad. This is nothing. You should read my school reports. I wouldn't even be game to show them to anyone. They were... Dion talks too much in class. Dion has no dedication to her work. Dion is very immature. Dion, Dion, Dion. Mum took a break from hassling me over my school report and paid her first ever visit to Paul and Dion's house. I don't think it was quite what she expected. Every time I've ever driven past there, that's the first time I've ever been there to Paul and Dion's. I thought it was the house either side of the one that I went into. I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. I could have cried. Um, they were proud. That's all they had. It's hot. I'm sure it must be very, very hot in the summertime. <sighs> she thought the house was really, really hot and um, she offered to... Um, buy an, an air cooler for us, so that, that really helps us a lot. Next month, February is sort of, you know, one of the hottest months of summer, so that's great that she wants to do that for us. We really appreciate it. She helps us heaps. I was very sad about the house. The shower, baby's room, very sad. So we had a pie each, Paul had two, made me a cup of tea, my cup had a ten chips in it. That was the first time she'd been in the house, it was alright, we gave her our only tea cup and it had about twenty chips in around the mouthpiece so she had to sort of manoeuvre her, her lips so she didn't cut them on the chips, <laughs> no it was good. I think there's a lot more, uh, much better places to rent for the same price. Much, much nicer. Much, much nicer. I know, we, you know, 13 years ago we paid $120 a week for a house, but it was a lovely house. And I'm sure you can now, with the recession and everything that in, in Australia. Sure. That's dreadful. You can't spend all your wages. You must reserve even $50 a week. It adds up. It adds up. And they've got to learn to save some part of their wages. That's going to be a rainy day. Or at least early drizzle patches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. $1,800, that's why I want this one of the houses for sale there. That's right. <laughs> a pension couldn't have been delivered, indeed. Who cares? In public, Mum is totally unhinged. Yeah, she is. In public, Mum is totally behind Laurie in any aspect of car racing. But behind the scenes, she's a little bit more worried. Don't get me wrong, she's still 100% behind him, but she just gets a little bit worried about how much it'll cost. Well, it's obviously no one's got her ideas and I've got my ideas, there's not a disagreement, but, uh, you know, we want to uh, put a bit of money together for a, a couple of reasons. And uh, so we're going to sell off a few of those little things that we've been collecting over the years to do just that. No way in the world I'm putting money into a race car. You've had all these years of racing, haven't you? How much more do you need to group for Group A? I thought Mick was meant to go halves. He's going to put in quite a bit of money, he hasn't quite got half. 
So you've got two thirds and he's got half. No, not a matter of two thirds. You know. Hey. You know what, Mick's got. I told you the other night, Alan. We discussed he's got it the other night. Nearly half. We discussed it the other night. From what Mum told me yesterday, they're selling a few cars. Like he's taken the Buick up to Mix and he's going to put it on the corner there. But now being a recession, you know, it's it's very hard to sell a car. There's a full-on stock take going on. There's the Buick, Laurie's favourite car. So, you know, it's got to be something if he's selling that. Everything's for sale. The Buick, the Galaxy. That's going in the paper at the weekend. And out of the three, we maybe saw one or two. Look, I haven't got months to muck around. We've got to do it quick. It's got to be done in the next couple of two weeks. So if we stand around and wait, nothing will happen, so... Oh, no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry? Looks somewhat better. We're not, dear. Look at me. We are not. Say after me. We are not. We are. <laughs> <laughs> we are not selling this to put into race cars. You know I want to get involved in this more than anything else. You know how keen I am. And, like, I'm prepared to go as deep as I can, like, without getting sound stupid and getting me head underwater sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's right. I've got other assets that I could probably, you know, get rid of if I had to get a few, you know, a few, few bucks here and there, but... Mick really wants to get into it, start racing and everything, so... Hopefully they'll get the car and he'll be off. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can swing anything but you know like I'm prepared to do whatever I have to do you know if if I have to I might be able to get another five and come up with 20. Like I've got a couple of people looking at me truck today yeah so. Did you drink much of the weekend? No. Beg your pardon? No not at all. You didn't have any? Oh, I had a couple of little ones. I can't imagine you being sick. Apparently he's had a physical and he's um He's not in as good a shape as what he really thinks he is. From what Mum says, you know, um, it's not right to go talking about him like while he's not here, but Mum says he's, um, he's a candidate for a heart attack. If I got you on a good diet, would you go on it? Yep. yep. Properly. Right, I would. Well, I'll put you on a good diet. I'll go and make you one right now. mentioned something about a report and I'll say, well, mate, as a matter of fact, we want to have a bit of a chat to you about that. That's right. The report's um, there and we want to have a bit of talk to you when you're ready. I'd been away for a month. I had a great time. But I knew there was a school report waiting for me back at home. I had a bad feeling about it. That's your breakfast. Oh, it's good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you. The Roy was good. Is it? So they had no money. Had a good holiday, that's yeah. what I said to you on the phone. Bobby's hat. In there too? Yeah, no, that's in there. <laughs> Come on, yeah, darling. Metropolitan police hat. Oh, he's here. Oh, listen. What's that on your neck? Nothing. Mate. You must have been real savage. Work. That was a surf. Oh, mate. <laughs> Jesus. That's a, that's a nice thing, isn't it? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you didn't learn to drink either, did you? No. You haven't not. been drinking... You hang over something? No. No? Not a problem. You can tell me later when they're not around. <laughs> <laughs> When I got home, they had a party organised for me. As the adults started drinking, I got a little bit bored. So I came up to my room with Chris. Mum doesn't like my haircuts. <laughs> but I'm pretty close to my mum, and I can't really say what she is or what she isn't. She's just mum. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I'm going into hospital this afternoon to get it to start my inducement. So um, they're going to put me this thing up me to soften the cervix and hopefully get the head to come down. So I'm going in tonight. Oh, the salve at 4:30. They're going to start me on that. No, I'm depressed. I've been crying. Oh, I just didn't want it to happen this way. And there's talk of a Caesar because the head's really far up, so... At least you won't feel nothing with that. Maybe. Yeah. And I've only dilated, like, um, the size, the tip of your little finger. Beautiful. <laughs> <sighs> That's How many have you got, Michael? They're my four there. Like, I've been with Laurie the, all my You're life, nearly. So he's more, more a dad than anybody else is. <laughs> but he's pretty <laughs> traditional and stuff, so you got if you want to live in a house, you got to do what he says. At least it'll all be over tomorrow, no matter what, you know? I know. Don't be fighting over the cesarean, either, because at least you won't I feel know. nothing. I don't want to have a scar. Well, you put that way I'll have to stay in hospital for five days if I have a caesarean. And I'll have stitches in my stomach. I won't be able to hold my baby properly. Well, you'll find a way of holding it properly, I dare say, with stitches in the time. I don't want to be in hospital. I don't want to be in the labour ward. Well, what you want and what you're going to get this time is totally out of our hands. It's in the hands of the unknown in your tummy. My school report wasn't exactly great, but no one seemed to realise that I was planning a late surge in my academic career. Jama, during this half year, Michael's attitude and behaviour were extremely immature. <laughs> Consistently <laughs> sound results reflect Michael's positive approach. Mm. That's religion. Yeah, so yeah. still a class. That's the only one Ooh, person that said anything nice about you, yeah? What are you going to do about it? I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> now, I am serious. I am not spending $10,000 a year on your education to get a report like well, that. send me to another school. I'm scared of the pain. It's not giving birth that worries me. It's what... I know what I'm like, Paul. You know what I'm like with pain in my stomach. Well, you're going to have to, you know... When I say be man about it, I'm not saying be a man. You know, you're going to have to take it in your stride, you know? And I'll be there, your mum's there. Midwives are there, doctors are there, everyone's there, you know. Anything you want, I'll get quick smart. Mum, you know, you know, you can't say anything to make me change. It's it's what I do in school is up like you, you can't motivate me. The best motivator is yourself, you know. I'll tell you what, I've got a good motivator in this drawer here. Yeah, that's why I'm sitting next to it, aren't I? <laughs> it's called a wooden spoon. <laughs> Yeah, I, um, I plan to do better. Promise you, Mum. Look, they're taking this conduct stuff from the last two weeks of school. Had I received that report prior to your trip overseas, you, wouldn't have sent you me, would right? never have been allowed to go. And then you, how much money would have you lost? I don't want one thing on that right-hand side other than excellent. Well, what do I get if I get that? Like, if I get a good report, what do I get? What's, what's in it for me? You just had it. You went on an overseas trip. Yeah. Now, you owe me. I have to answer to Laurie too, Michael. Oh, come on, Mum. You're going to give me this same lecture about how good Laurie is. Do you want to take you in the bedroom? And how much, I, how much I should love Laurie. No, it's not no, about that. No, I'm Mum. I'm really getting angry now because you always start this thing Perhaps up all the time. Perhaps you could go and get a full-time job and get a flat. Both of our parents are telling us how to run our lives with the baby, trying to make us pick names, like... Paul's mum wants us to call the baby one name and we don't want to do it that way. And my mum's trying to tell me, you know, this is what happens in hospital and this is what has to happen after the baby. And it's from both sides, we can't handle it. You know, we're having the baby, we want to do it our way. And that's, Paul just, you know, draws the line, just says, look, shut up. It's our kid, we're going to do it this way and that's it, we're going to do it our way. It's really hard with Nolene because she always brings it up when we're in front of heaps of people. Like, we'll be having a barbie in the backyard <laughs> and I won't, I'll have no one to defend myself. Like, Paul will be off with Laurie or Michael or someone and I'll be sitting there by myself going, Paul, come back, please, <laughs> please. And um, she goes, now I want you to call the baby this and I say, well, I don't like that name. And she goes, well, what do you want to call it? And I say, Paige, and she goes, well, I don't like that name. And I said, well... If you don't like it, Mum, send me to another school. For boys. Fine. I'll get a uniform. 
Well, you'll get a smack bottom in a minute. Well, I'm sick of you making, like, like accusations and you don't even know. Yeah. Come on. In there. I don't want to oh, go through don't. it. One more time. Don't put that in there. This is separate so it doesn't get crushed. What's that for? What do you reckon? Baby shawl. What do we bring the baby home in? Um, I've got everything. Singlet, I know. Bonds, I've checked shorts. it about 10,000 times. Come on, it's one We've more. We've got pads, thick pieces of white bread. <laughs> <laughs> Dick in girly Clothes pants. Clothes to bring baby home in. My little bag. My little squirter. More tennis ball. With my face washer, shampoo, the Tape to keep it quiet. Toothbrush, soap, toothpaste. Camera? No, I don't have a camera. Can I take my camera and take some photos? Yeah, but it's not going in this bag. My baby book, so I can fill this in when the baby's born. Mm. Toothbrush? Yeah, I've got everything, yeah. Where'd you get the spare toothbrush from? Mum bought it for me. Oh. Um, in the baby's Baby room. Top? I need nursing pads. Can you get the box that's in there? Nursing pads? Yeah, I've got clothes to wear at home. Guess I'll just have to live in 90s there. It's boring being pregnant and waiting to have a baby, especially when you're, you know, overdue. And I guess it's, um, I don't know, I don't really think of it as exciting at the moment because it's just dragging on and on and it's getting really, you know, monotonous, like it's never going to end. We've never had to fill out a Medicare form or anything, you know, it's all done for nothing. And, you know, we're so grateful that we've got that um, medical system for us to use because, you know, we're not rich, we're, we're almost bankrupt, you know. I get thinking, am I mature enough to be a good parent or, you know, am I too young to be doing this? And then I think, no, <laughs> no way. I, I really am gung-ho now. I really want to have a baby and, and be a really good mum. Oh, just, no, no, it's all right. As long as we're together, you know, and our family's happy, we, we don't care, you know. We've all got each other and that's the thing that matters the most, you know, if we have to live off... Nothing, just so our baby can eat and be happy and have things that we never had when we were the, a, a child, you know, that's fine. Because, you know, all we care about is how we feel about each other. Like, money is important, but it doesn't, you know, make the world go round in a sense. Love does. I can't do anything in holidays. But you haven't even shampooed your hair, and I asked you when you came back from overseas, please do that every day. And you said yes, you would. Mum seemed to think that the state of my haircut directly affected my schoolwork. All right, I'll wait here until you get in the shower, and then I'll come in and watch your shampoo. No. Perfect. This is too much, No. No, I'm not. You're a big sock. Get in there. Give me the thing. All right, I'll trust you. Get out. Can Please. I trust you? Please. Can I trust you? Of course, Mother. <laughs> Downstairs. No, you can't wait outside. Get in there. Go on. <laughs> Can I trust you? Yes. Yeah, I can go in a pool. But you can't swim, Christy. When you <laughs> can learn can, to swim. I can take my floaty. No, but I'm not going to be there to watch her. But Mummy can. No, she can't. She's staying here with me while I'm cleaning the pool. What's wrong with our water? I want to lose two stone so I feel better in myself and no. not embarrassed to walk around with a tight skirt on without a jumper over it or go swimming without having to be worried about what you look like and just so I feel better. Christy, do you have to be such a fruitcake? I have got big bones, like I'm very broad shouldered and around here I'm very big and I've got big bones. So I don't think I'll ever be skinny. I never have been really that skinny. I've always been probably just right. I'm not going to touch it, Christy. Mick doesn't mind the way I am. He likes girls with a bit of meat on them. He doesn't like skinny little girls. He never really comments, but he always just says, oh, if you lost a bit off the top of your legs, you'd have a perfect body and all this. But I'm doing it for myself, not for anyone else. I watched it. I swear I did that twice. That squeak. Get under there. Uh, get get under there. Look, smell. Enough, Come here. I swear to you. 
I watched All it you twice. did was a, I watched it twice. Sleep, I swear. I can't smell sleep, anything. I watched it under here. What? What? Under here. No, right I, now. No, I swear. I you watched it. I smell. Smell. It's, it's smell. Of course, I. You smell mine. Oh, beautiful. Yes. <laughs> hey, no, you no, him. No, I'm not. Right. That's get it. the report. What report? You're not going out tonight. Why not? You're not, unless you shampoo your hair. I've I told you. I washed it twice. I'm telling. I better. Get under that towel. I already rang twice. I washed it twice. There's no need. Mum, I'll wash it one more time. There is no need for this senseless. All right, sit on the chair, Mum. Get that, okay? Michael's getting roasted. Is it not washed? It's getting roasted. It's not washed at all. You put all the shampoo here. He didn't wash his hair. Filthy child. Oh, get no, that's it. Come on. That is it. Sit down, Mum. I'm serious. No way. Sit down. Get about it. You are a naughty boy. Yeah. How are you feeling? Oh, God. So... Yeah, she's got a feeding bag, isn't that crumbs? Oh, I'm just getting my heart beating right as she's doing that. Paul's just going to get something to eat. What are you doing? Having contractions and that. That's Is it coming tonight? That's why they're bringing me in here. They think so. Mm. Yeah, just waiting. I'm in pain. <laughs> It's horrible, isn't it? It is. I'm having really bad hot flushes yeah, on that. Yeah. Yes. That's Brilliant. it coming on fast, that's all. Do you want anything? Do you want some no. lemonade or something? No, no, no. Not at all. I'm fine. I had my dinner, it was lovely. What did you have for dinner? Nothing. I had something to eat before. Is she being good? Disgusting steak and onion. Read your <laughs> palm. Give us your palm. I'll read your palm. <laughs> Definitely a child tonight. Oh. <laughs> my very own. Mm. You feeling all right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just hot, really hot. Just think about the lovely sleep you're going to have. I'm tired now. I want to sleep now. Have well, you been, been sick? Have you been sick now? Hey? Have you been sick? Sick? Mm. No, 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 just having contractions. They're keeping me awake and active. Dying. Sorry. I rang Joanne this afternoon and told her she's happy. I rang Yvette. She rang you this morning too. Yeah, she rang, rang me this Annette. afternoon. Got half the shower party organised. In the next episode, will there be a family argument? Will Dianne have her baby? Will that baby be a boy or a girl? I've got a hundred dollar bet riding on the sex of that child. So tune in for the next episode and see if I win.